Hey there, my name is Zimri Mayfield and today's tutorial is something I'm really excited about. I came up with an idea to create a fictitious design company and then go through all the branding of it. So today's flat design tutorial will be part of that branding process. So let's get started. File, new. I'm going to call this Gary and Jonas because that's the name. That's not Jonas, that's Josan. Jonas. Okay, because that's the name of the design firm that I'll be creating. So let's go width 1280 by 720. Okay, and I'm going to paste in this color palette that I've been working with before. And the font I'll be using is called Ostrich Sands. Ostriches are one of the fastest birds. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> let's fill in the background. So I press M to get a box tool. And I'm going to click and drag and fill in the whole space. But our fill color is white so let's press I to color drop in yellow perfect okay so Gary and Jonas Gary will be an astronaut and Jonas will be a space squid yeah pretty cool I know <laughs> thanks okay so the background let's call it backpack and lock that in place create a new layer and we'll call this Gary Nice, and let's change the color by double clicking on that space there, or just, I don't know. And then we'll go um, bright green. And we'll hit OK, cool. So now that Gary's in place, let's get started actually building the character. And he's going to be an astronaut. So first what we need to do is make sure that Gary stays alive in space. So let's create a helmet. So I'm going to drag out what I think looks like a good helmet shape. Um, Something like that should be good. And I'm going to fill that with white, also known as white. Um, OK, so if you're using Adobe CC, you won't need to do the next process. But since I'm using CS6, I think I need to go Effect, Convert to Shape, Rounded Rectangle. And the program will try to tack on all this extra width. So I'm just going to put in zeros in here. And I think I want this to be 25. Let's preview that. That looks good. I'm going to go OK. So now this shape, I actually want to go Object, Expand Appearance, then Object, Expand again. Because when you convert the shape to a rounded rectangle, weird things happen when you try to scale it. OK, so now what we want to do is create the visor for the helmet. So let's just press M to get the box tool. And I'm going to hold Shift. No, I'm not going to hold Shift. I'm just going to eyeball it where I think the middle of it looks good. And I'm going to press I so I can fill it with blue. Let's make this a little bit bigger. So holding Alt and Shift at the same time, we're going to expand it out. Now I'm going to select both of these shapes and hit this. And then also hit this to align it in the middle of our helmet. I'm going to hold Alt while I drag down the bottom. And just to make those a little bit. You know what? That's too big. Let's just Control Z. OK, that's good. So now most of the helmet's done. We just need um, some reflections. So I'm going to fill the fill with this light turquoise color. And then I'm going to zoom in by holding Control plus. And then I'm going to press L to get the circle tool. And then I'm going to hold Alt and Shift so I can scale out two circles um, just like that. I'm going to select them and hit this so they're vertic horizontally aligned. Yes, horizontally aligned. Nice job, Zim. Thanks. OK, so now that we have almost everything done, let's add some, add some shading to it. So what I'm going to do is select this back rounded rectangle and press Control-C, Control-F. That pasted it on top of itself. But we need it to be all the way on top of everything. So I'm going to press Control-Shift, right bracket. Brings it all the way on top. So now what we want to do is make that black. And then we'll change the transparency to 10%. OK, good. But now we just need to get the pen tool by pressing P. I'm going to click once, hold Shift to make a straight line, and then create a shape similar to this. So now what we want to do is select this black shape I made and this transparent shape, and then hit this minus front tool. So that cut out all of the transparent shape that was inside of the black shape we made. Let's press, let's select this again, and then we'll go Control-C, Control-F. Now there's two on top of each other. 
Let's do that. Let's repeat that process with the pen tool. So we'll go click once, hold shift, and then create a box around that. Select both of these shapes minus front. Now what we have is a cool um, gradient, you know, non-realistic gradient effect going here, light, medium, dark. Okay, good. That's it for the helmet. I'm going to shrink it down some. Um, actually, let's shrink it down quite a bit more, something like that. Okay, now what I want to do is select this back shape, and we'll be using it for the body. So I'm going to press Control-C, Control-V, and bring it out here. Let's actually try to align it. Good. Now we're going to scale it up some, move it down to about there. I want to... I want to move it behind the helmet, so I'll press Control Shift Left Bracket. And I also want the bottom of it to be cut off straight. So I'm going to press M to get the box tool, and then come up here like that, and select both of these shapes minus front. And now we have a nice back thing, and I think the shoulders are too wide, so let's hold Alt and bring them in a little bit on each side. And let's select all of the helmet, Control Shift Right Bracket to bring it on top of the body. I'm actually gonna bring these in a little bit more. Okay, good. Now that we have the body, I wanna create a kind of a vest that goes on top of the body. So I'm gonna fill this with this color here. And then I'm actually gonna copy this shape, Control C, Control F, um, and then hold Alt while I drag it in, sorry. Hold Alt while I drag it in and then bring it up. Let's fill it with that color. There we go, so we can see what's going on. Now what we want to do is bring it all the way down so it's even. And the shoulder pads are too high, so let's bring it down some. Just like that. Let's make the arms a little bit wider because they're looking skinny. And as we all know, Gary is super ripped. Now what we need to do is create a backpack. So I'm going to select the body and press Control C, Control B, because I want that one to be behind. Now I'm going to use the arrow keys to drag it up some, and let's make it a different color. So I'm going to make it this um, grayish color, and let's scale it in some by holding Alt, something like, like this, and then use the arrow keys to bring it down. And now Gary has a... Backsla backpack slash oxygen container. Okay, I think this needs to come down a little bit more. Let's try to align it with there. Okay, that looks good. Now let's make sure we bring this up so it's level with the body. That, does that look level? I think it does. Let's roll with it. Okay, now let's add some details. So I'm just going to press M. So we can um, create some shapes here. And let's have those be that dark gray again. And I'm going to create a few more shapes. One here, like that. And another one here, um, like that. I'm going to select these, bring them up again so the gap is consistent. Let's move that down a couple pixels. Move, the, move all three of these up. I don't know, this is all just OCD. Let's move these a little bit further. Okay, now on the left side, um, level with here, I'm gonna create a big box. Let's level just like that. And then in that box, I'm going to create a circle. So let's press L to get the circle tool, try to find the center, hold Alt and Shift while we drag out, and let's make that circle. Um, darker so we can see it better. So let's just drag our color down a little bit like that. Okay, let's shrink it down a little bit more. Okay, good, that'll be, you know what? That's a little bit too dark. Let's go up a little bit more. Okay, that's better. So now what we wanna do is create the same gradient shadow effect on our body. So what we wanna do is uh, select the body, and then also while holding shift, click the vest. So now that we have both of these selected, we want to copy them, control C, and then we'll paste control F. 
Now what we have is two shapes on top of two other shapes. So now that we have the top two shapes selected, we're gonna hit this button, Unite. Now we have one shape. We're gonna make it black, and then we're gonna go Transparency, 10%, just like that. And then we're gonna go through the same process we did with the helmet. We're gonna get the Pen Tool, hold Shift, um, we kind of have to make sure we want it where we want it. So I'm going to go through the middle of this box because I think that will look best. So I'm going to hold shift there. And then selecting this and the transparent object. Ooh, wait, I can see a problem. It didn't go all the way around the shape, did it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select this point and move it up like that. So now I can select this and this and go minus front. So that got rid of everything over here. Let's control C, control F, and then get the pen tool again. Let's go somewhere. Um, let's go, no, I think we should put it uh, over here. Okay, let's go like that. And then select this and go minus front. Okay. So we can see that our shadow is actually on top of our helmet, which is not what we want. So we'll just select all the helmet shapes and go control shift right bracket. Now it's on top and now we have a gradient for our chest and a gradient for our helmet. And our backpack needs to be darker on the left side. So I'm gonna go control C, control F. And with the top one, I'm gonna make it black. Same process. Now I want, I want the pen tool, so I'm gonna go bam, 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 bam. And then select them both, minus front. And then it's on top of everything, so let's go control shift, left bracket, bring it to the back, and then bring the backpack to the back. It's a subtle difference, but you can see that this side is now darker than that side, um, which makes sense. And now I think Gary is complete we're just gonna add a um, a flat shadow so I'm gonna get the line tool by pressing backslash I'm gonna click from the top left and click and drag to the bottom right and now it the stroke is zero so I'm gonna bring it up to about four and then I'm gonna select it I'm gonna hold alt and shift at the same time I'm going to drag out to about there. And this one down below, I'm going to make its transparency zero. Zero. So it's invisible. Now, what we want to do is go here to the blend tool. Double click that. Change it to specify distance of one pixel, one pixel. And then we're going to select this and find this one. Now that they're both selected, we can go object blend make so now we have this nice gradient effect and we'll make it about 20 percent and we'll go control shift left bracket to move it to the back so now we can see that gary is somewhat of an astronaut maybe he's a robot maybe he's a robot astronaut either way it's a pretty cool design gary's got it going on okay good now, let's start with, um, who's the other guy? Jonas, yeah. Jonas is a space squid. Um, this will be significantly easier to make because we're just going to, um, let's actually fill it with, let's get our color fill of this light turquoise. And then I'm going to press L to get the circle tool and hold Alt and Shift while I make a nice circle there. Now what I want to do is get the pen tool Start on the right side here, hold shift and go up, and then I'm just gonna do various endings here. Try to be somewhat consistent about it. Uh, wait, we didn't want it to end there, we wanted to end down there. Go up a little bit more. All right, let's come to the middle, something like that and then hit the edge of our circle over here and we'll complete the shape. So 
Um, let's actually, let's make this one, this left one a little bit wider. So we'll press A so we can select the points. Click here on that point, holding shift, we'll click that one. So now we have these two points selected. We can use our arrow keys to drag it over. Okay, good. Now what I'm gonna do is select that and select the circle and I'm gonna go Pathfinder, Unite. Now it's all one shape. Okay, now that we have it all united, let's just turn it to how we want it. Let's put it something like, like here. That'll be good. And then let's press the L tool and create another circle inside of here and let's make that let's try purple no that's too harsh let's make it blue so we're somewhat consistent let's come up to the middle there um, try to center it and you know what this is this is still too skinny so i'm gonna press a again select both of these and i'm gonna make it wider And then I might select these two and then make that a little bit skinnier. And then select these final two and make that skinnier. Like so. Okay, that'll be fine. What am I saying? That'll be awesome. Okay, now all we need for our space squid named Jonas is a final shadow. So I'm going to suggest... Going from here to here, and then we'll go stroke one, two, three, four. Seems good to me. And then we'll hold Alt and Shift. Now, if we drag out another one, let's do it about there. And then we'll select them both. And no, we'll make the bottom one transparent zero and then we'll select both of them and since our blend options are already set in place we'll go object blend make perfect and then we'll change this to about 20 percent move it to the back and our space squid is donezos yeah let's leave it like that okay so here we have Jonas, and on that side we have, no, 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 the astronaut's Gary. Oh my gosh, how could you get this wrong? Okay, the astronaut's Gary, and the squid is Jonas. It's good. I'm going to make Jonas a little bit bigger. No, I'm going to make Jonas smaller. No, it's hard to make them even when one is actually a smaller object than the other. Okay, good. So here's Gary. There's Jonas. Now, I think what I want to do is create another um, box here and then fill like half the artboard. Um, you know, if you want to switch these real quick, you can hit Shift X and it, it switches out the outline with the fill. So I'm going to make this um, this color. No, I'm going to make it. Well, let's toy around with it in a second. I'm going to go Control Shift left bracket to move it to the back and that is the exact same color as the backpack so let's brighten our day here um let's just make it whitish gray you know what that doesn't look that great <gasps> Ooh, ooh, how vibrant no <laughs> let's go with something Hmm. No, I want kind of like a... Let's go with this, but let's make it... Something more along those lines. Okay, I'm happy with that. That's fine. So now we have um, Jonas over here, and... No, 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 the squid is Jonas. Jonas is over here, and Gary is our astronaut. So now I'm just going to put in some text here. Uh, I'm going to make it 72, and to, to get the text tool, you just press T and then click. So now what I want to do is go Gary, and then go Control-Shift-A to deselect that, and then we'll make 
another one, press T, click, and press the plus key. That will be our and, and then we'll go control shift A to deselect that. And then we'll do it one more time and we'll go Jonas, control shift A. Perfect, and then I'm gonna select all these and um, make them all a little bit bigger, something like that. And then we're gonna go ostrich back to our bird font. Nice. This one we might want to make a little bit bigger. Something like that. Now let's move these into position. I want, let's try to get our plus sign to be like in the middle. What do you think? What do you think? Let's zoom in a little bit more. Uh, one to the right. <coughs> let's select this big gray one and then see if we can't. Move it over one point. No. Okay, it's in the middle. I'm. It's in the middle. I don't care what anyone says. It's in the middle. <laughs> okay, let's make these a little bit bigger. Just like that. And since the black is too harsh, let's go with a light color. Something like... Um, You know what? Let's make it a little bit. Let's try this one. I wonder what the purple will do. Let's see about the purple. No, that's way too standout-ish. Let's try white. White's pretty good. Okay, let's leave it with this very light turquoise color here. Okay, so now what we have is... Let's move this over a little bit so it's closer. Okay, cool. Now we have Gary and Jonas. We have our flat design, kind of like icons, but also artwork. Uh, we can tell that Gary is the brains of the operation and Jonas is the style. Yeah, bringing it. Space squid. Okay, cool. Let's, um, actually, I want to add, add a little bit of humor. So everybody likes that. So I'm going to press T again and go parentheses, parentheses. In the middle, I'm just going to write. Um, Gare Bear. That's not how you spell it. I think it's just like that. Gare Bear. Let's let's add a dash here. I mean, that's what that's what all Gary's friends call him outside of work. They call him Gare Bear. So we're just gonna leave that in there, and we're gonna um, make it that light color. Let's actually make it quite a bit smaller, so it's more of a a side note if you happen to pick it out. Something like that. Um, there's actually two, it's too close. Let's grab all of these and move them up. Something like that. This is super thick, isn't it? That's super thick. Let's, uh, let's scale that down and see what happens. Now it's too small. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it big. Good. Uh, it's not so thick. Okay, that's good. Okay, so this was um, a nice little tutorial about creating a flat design um, artwork about a design firm. And I'm actually going to be going through like a much larger process of creating um, business cards and maybe a logo, things like that and maybe um, a website layout, kind of do some UI UX design with the company. So that's what I'm gonna be continuing with, but this was just a, a nice, fun little start to get kind of the theme and the spirit of the company out there. Gary Gerber and his partner in crime, Jonas, making awesome designs and being extremely creative. Okay, thanks so much, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you liked it, hit that like button also subscribe makes my day makes me feel like you know i'm i'm making an impact on the world so it's great thanks guys see you later